Music notation programs are strongly structured, forcing composers to follow many rules and making automatic adjustments. This often hinders creative expression, but despite this, many composers use those programs throughout their creative workflow. In this video, we illustrate the features of our prototype, a terpen, which is designed to give composers more flexibility by relaxing constraints and providing them with space to experiment freely. In Utherpen, composers can break the score's linearity and make space inside bars to write music by hand. Fine-tuning the layout can be done later. They can also insert space between bars and choose whether to display bar lines or not. Layout management can then be done manually or automatically, but on demand. Composers can work freely without interfering with the score, thanks to canvases called pensives, which can be carved around or between staves. Allowing composers to break the score's homogeneity, these pensives can hold a variety of content, such as handwritten annotations, but also PDF files, staves to jot down ideas or try out musical variations, even audio files or pictures for IDs captured while away from the tool. These contents can be dropped on the staves as well, resized and dragged away for transcription. In fact, any content from the score can be put in pensives to be stored or modified. With a pin gesture, composers can listen to the notation and, if they are not satisfied with it, write down an alternative. And seamlessly listen to it without having to engrave it first. Handwritten notation can be listened to in context and engraved on demand. However, composers can change their mind at any time. They can switch back and forth between handwriting and engraving to convey the state of the notation, finalized or still a work in progress. Composers can also find musical patterns in the score based on handwritten notation. Finally, Utherpen allows composers to break down musical elements and access only specific auditory attributes. For instance, they can select a sequence of note heads and copy their pitches to paste them on a sequence with a different rhythm. They can also copy every auditory attribute by starting a lasso selection in the background. And transpose the pasted sequence while it's still selected. Composers can use the structure to select a range of elements with pen taps and drag and drop the selection as is with a finger. Auditory attributes are useful not only to copy and paste with flexibility, but also to find relaxed patterns in the score. For instance, a pattern focused on rhythms. Or a pattern focused on pitches. The minimap can then be used to navigate in the score and find occurrences of the pattern. By selecting every auditory attribute, the search for a pattern will be more constrained. 